Hello and welcome to the counselor tutorial for creating chart notes. Uh, we'll begin here in the patient administration screen. Then we'll click on the appointments visits tab. Uh, for counselor connect users, by the way, this will just say visits. You will not have appointments. That's for counselor complete OMS uh, that have both of these options. All right. So as you can see here, um, we have uh, one visit already in place from the 26th. You can see uh, just by referencing the icons to the right that there is audiometric data in place. There's test results there. And there's also a chart note in place. So those icons will tell you what occurred or what I should say what's been added uh, for that visit. If you wish to, to view the current chart notes, you can go ahead, of course, and click on view chart notes. And it will show you every visit. If so this patient had four or five visits, every uh, chart note would be listed out. Okay, um, versus having to go into each chart note and view that directly. Uh, you, by the way, can also view a print out uh, a PDF of all the current chart notes by clicking on actions and then chart notes. Okay, as far as creating a brand new chart note, there are a series of options. So first off, very simply, you can click new chart note. Uh, that will take you directly into the to the edit chart note screen. You enter your note. Uh, you know, you click submit, save it, and you're finished. If this is going to be part of a larger visit, so the patient's coming in for audiologic evaluation, and as part of that you want to create a chart note, then typically the best way is to start by saying new visit. Although with that said, if you went in through the new chart note feature, you still have the ability to add audiometric data, to add the professional report, modify the patient summary, all that information as well. Um, so these are really two options that link you into the same screen but just this one zeroes you in specifically into the chart note okay so at any time you can jump in here and click new chart note now this also can be done from the schedule uh, so for those of you who are accounts are complete OMS users you are able to hover over the patient's appointment and then click on new chart note if your accounts are uh, connect user you would just use the one in the visits tab as I mentioned, what this does is it takes you directly into the edit chart note screen. So it creates a visit for you. It takes you into the chart notes area and then into the edit chart note screen. Uh, and then, of course, you have quite a bit of control in this area. You, of course, can type in information straight away. You can click on preset templates to fill in the language. Very similar to you've seen throughout Counselor. Um, and, of course, you have the full ability to modify all these templates as well. Um, once you are comfortable with your chart note, perhaps you want to modify it further, you certainly can. Um, but once you're, you're satisfied with the chart note, you do have a few other options. So you can uh, dictate what happens with the view check, uh, checklist, um, I'm sorry, the visit checklist status. Uh, so basically you could say that, hey, this is a completed appointment, maybe all our visit, I'm sorry, all I needed to do for this visit was create a chart note. This is a clean and check, a quick follow up. Um, you can then dictate it from there. If you are a counselor complete OMS user, you also can dictate the status of the appointment. So then you could say, same idea. This was a quick walk-in, a cleaning check. I'm going to go ahead and say the appointment is, clean, is completed as well. So basically it enables you to, to make some decisions from the edit chart note screen that will affect other areas in the system. Now moving on with that same theme, if you want to add a patient tag, and this is available for Counselor Connect and Counselor Complete OMS users, you can on the fly decide perhaps this is a test not treated patient or this patient is in a wheelchair. Uh, there's more info on this in the patient tags tutorial, so I won't go too deep into that, but it does enable you on the fly when you're thinking about these types of things to be able to add uh, patient tags. If this patient already had some tags in place, they would have shown up and then I could have removed them if I needed to. So basically let you update the tags in real time. Ultimately then I'll go ahead and click continue main screen. Back on the main screen I do have the option of viewing the chart notes as a PDF and I have the option of seeing that as you know all the chart notes or just the one for this visit. Um, ultimately you can jump back in and edit the notes further. Um, you also can sign off on the notes. So if you want to have your signature added to the uh, note itself, go ahead and click sign off. It will add uh, the date and time here. And then if you do want to edit again, you would need to click unlock notes to go back in and then edit um, the chart note from there. One thing I want to encourage you to be careful about is inadvertently creating too many visits. Um, what can happen there is perhaps you created a visit with the audiometric data, maybe you brought it over from NOAA, and now you want to go back in and create your chart note. You want to go back into that a previously created visit and then create your chart notes. So as you can see here, we're in the same screen that houses 
every other part of that patient visit. So you'd go back in and just work on the chart notes section. Ultimately, if you already had a, a visit with uh, in place with audiometric data and maybe some case history, and you created a new visit for your chart note, it's not a huge problem, but it would separate those visits and show two visits uh, within the patient profile uh, unnecessarily. So we encourage you to put those all together. Uh, so please let us know if you have any questions about how this is done, uh, how the templates are created, or how you create chart notes. Uh, we're always happy to help. So give us a call, live chat us, uh, email us. Please no let us know if we can help in any way. So thank you very much for joining us for the counselor tutorial on creating chart notes.